Britain's parent company went into administration this week with reported debts of more than £25 million. It's not yet clear whether the football club will end up with the 10-point deduction. Richard Henwood picks up the story. For months now, the fans have been calling for Rupert Lowe's departure. This week, they finally got their way. Lowe's resignation from the boardroom, part of the fallout from the parent company's administration. But that's just about all the fans have had to celebrate. The club could be just weeks from going out of business. How bleak is it for the Southampton fan out there today? Um, it's very bleak. The future of this club is in serious jeopardy at this time. I can't see us going under because basically we've got the training ground, we've got the, the academy, we've got the stadium, we've got the fans. It's too good an offer for someone to, 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 just to chuck it away. The other thing fans are concerned about is this 10-point deduction for going into administration, with it being the holding company. What's the situation there? Well, currently we are, we are in discussions with the uh, Football League. Um, our view is, is that the administration is over the holding company. The football club is still operational. Um, it's being run by by the board of the football club and therefore clearly the 10 point deduction shouldn't apply. I think we'll get buyers for the club, today's an abbot for the club, full stadium, sun on our back, get a win, I think we're open to the world on the TV and the media goes like you, let's hope we get a buyer. What's certainly needed is a huge turnout from fans at the club's remaining home games, that would bring in much needed funds. So a season's best crowd of 27,228 for the game against Charlton will be a good sign for those seeking to save the club. And Charlton looked like hand-picked opposition without a win in 17 championship away games. But a first league goal for John Joe Shelby after just seven minutes set the tone for a frantic afternoon at St Mary's. Southampton's response was just what manager Mark Votter would have been looking for. Top scorer David McGoldrick's 12th goal of the season bringing the crowd to life. But just when the home team appeared to have created the foundation for a welcome victory, everything began to unravel. A foul by Jan Paul Size on Trezor Candle and a penalty for Charlton. But club captain Kelvin Davis has been doing his best to rally the troops in recent days, and this save from Candle would have increased his status among the home fans. He's one of the senior Saints players who've apparently offered to defer their wages, and that was his fourth penalty save of the season. No wonder he's become a hero. But it wasn't enough to prompt another surge from the home side. Instead, Charlton edged ahead again with two second-half goals. The first of them a cracking strike from Terry Racon. And it was 3-1 midway through the half when Nicky Bailey's 11th goal of the season edged them closer still to their first win in eight. It's been a good first season with the club for Bailey. With time running out and Southampton heading for their first home defeat in five, they brought on Bradley Wright Phillips, who ensured the match would finish on a knife edge by making it 3-2 with seven minutes to go. His first effort blocked, his second unstoppable. In the dying moments, the two managers allowed the emotion of the occasion to get the better of them, both sent to the stands after this frank exchange of views on the touchline. Southampton beaten because of too much spirit and not enough football, according to the boss. We should have done better today, to be fair. Uh, I can't criticise the boys for their work rate. Uh, they worked their socks off and then until the last minute, we, uh, I think we were fighting for a point after 3-1 down, which was the worst part of the game for us. I mean, uh, we, we gave away uh, the goals too easily. And uh, still after the 3-2, I was confident that we we're going to at least uh, get a point out, out of this game. And I think the boys deserve at least a point. Obviously, I started my career at Southampton when I was 16 or 20. It's, it's a fantastic club, like, like Charlton, two great clubs who are held in the very high esteem in the football world for the way they've been, they've been run. And both of us uh, have hit hard, time, hard times, um, but I'm sure Charlton and Southampton will come out the other side of it. We are sorry for, uh, for the result, of course, that uh, we couldn't uh, get anything out of this match. And, uh, but the fans were, were fantastic. And, uh, what can I say? I mean, uh, I wish it was all season like that, but um, then we have.